you introduce us to Sex Life and the inspiration behind this series? Sure. So, you know, Sex Life is this um, nostalgia fueled, sparkly fever dream version of the past and those fabulous single girl nights on the town and the best sex you ever had and the impossibly sexy men you had it with. But it's also rooted in this really honest exploration of what happens to us as we grow up and become allegedly responsible grownups and the choices we have to make along the way. And, um, you know, it's really, you know, a look at that age old question of, can you have it all? Yeah, you know, Sex Life was inspired by B.B. Easton's book, 44 Chapters About Four Men. How did you originally come across that source material? Yeah, so um, I, I was sent the book by Miles Dale, who's um, you know one of the executive producers on the show. And it was I was excited because Miles has an incredible track record as a producer. And I was excited to see um, what he had up his sleeve. But I connected on a really personal level with this story of this you know, wife and mom and up in the middle of the night and, and wondering who am I now and where did that other girl go? And um, so that was, that was exciting to get to do. Yeah, you, you shared on social media that this project has, become, uh, has been a dream come true. How have your previous experiences prepared you for this moment? What's been the biggest takeaway for you as a showrunner? Yeah, well, um, I've been a TV writer for a long time. I've been a TV writer for 19 years <laughs> and I've worked my way up the ranks and, and I've even run shows that were created by other people. Um, and so, yeah, it is a dream come true to, to have a show that I've created myself. I mean, um, and, and, that, and that, that comes from such a personal place for me that I feel so deeply in my bones, you know? And uh, I think what's nice is that I, I have a lot of experience. So now when the opportunity has finally come, I, I felt very confident um, to be able to execute it. And uh, even, you know, during COVID and, and everything else. Um, uh, but it's, it's uh, you know, the, I think maybe the time was all worth it in the end. Yeah, and you've put together, put together this incredible ensemble. Can you tell us a little bit about the casting process and finding your leads? Yeah. So Sarah Shahi, she really fought for this role, you know, and, and an actress of Sarah's caliber doesn't always audition for parts anymore. And she not only auditioned, but she didn't like her audition. And so she went back to the casting director on her own and re-recorded, you know, several times her, her audition scenes. And she just connected with Billy on such a personal level and, and that was undeniable. And I, you know, I think that she brings such a soulful, emotional quality to it. It's so important for Billy to have real vulnerability so that you could understand what it is that she's going through and, and go along on the ride with her, you know? And then with uh, Mike Vogel and Adam Demos, I mean, it was really important to us that we have a fair fight, that you don't, you, you, it's not easy to say, what is she doing? She should stay with her husband. And it's not easy to say, what is she doing? She should run to her incredibly sexy ex-boyfriend, you know, but they just, they both bring such intelligence and such, such, you know, again, vulnerability and this emotional quality. I mean, with Cooper, with Mike Vogel, it would be so easy for his character to just be sort of the vanilla husband. who's like a little bit more square and not really satisfying her, but he really elevates you know, the material so far beyond that. And, and Adam, you know, I had worked with on Unreal before. And so I had actually thought of him while I was writing the script and thought he might be right for Brad. And it's certainly deeper emotional material than what we gave him on Unreal. And so I was like, oh, I don't know if, if he'd be up for that. And then he sent in his audition tape that was like, hell yes, I'm up for this. <laughs> so, uh, so that's been a really exciting journey. And, you know, and Margaret Odette, who plays Sasha, I feel like she is such a revelation. I mean, she's perhaps the least known of all of our um, our lead actors, but I just feel like this is her star is born moment. I'm so excited for the world to get to see her. Yeah, and then final question for you. This story is long overdue. Why do you think it's taken so long for this perspective to be reflected in mainstream media? 
Well, you know, a woman who has desires and wants of her own is very scary <laughs> to a lot of people. Maybe it's just in this country, but but uh, there's nothing scarier than a smart, strong woman. I think sometimes, but um, but in 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 a woman with sexual desires is usually portrayed as the bad girl, or she's punished, you know, and, and for for her desires. And there are a lot of other words that she's labeled with that are not as even nice as bad girl, you know, because I think it can be frightening, you know. I mean, that's just thousands of years old that 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 women's sexuality is frightening, but that's how powerful it is, and that's also therefore the reason that it should be honored and nurtured and tended to um because it's such a big part of who we are 